Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast Special Edition Series. We'll go over each and every 2024 NCAA Men's College Basketball Conference Tournament. This is the 31st, the 32 shows. So we have two more to go after doing a bunch of shows the past several days and over the last week and a half. And this is going to be the MAC, the Mid-American Conference. The tournament will be held at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio. I'll go over all the seeds and then do the bracket and then do all the fun miscellaneous stuff. So, without further ado, here we go. The MAC. Your one seed in this tournament with a record of 20 and 11 overall, 14 and 4 in conference fight, the Toledo Rockets. Your two seed in this this tournament, um, 21 and 10 overall, 13 and 5 in conference fight, the Akron Zips. Three. 19 and 12 overall, 13 and 5 in conference by the Ohio Bobcats. The four seed, 18 and 13 overall, 12 and 6 in conference by the Central Michigan Chippewas. The five seed, 19 and 12 overall, 10 and 8 in conference by the Bowling Green Falcons. Six, 12 and 19 overall, 9 and 9 in conference by the Western Michigan Broncos. Um, seven, uh, the Miami of Ohio Red Hawks. 15 and 16 overall, 9 9 in conference play. And your 8 seed, 15 and 16 overall, 8 and 10 in conference play. The Kent State Golden Flashes did not qualify. The Ball State Cardinals, 15 and 16 overall, 7 11 in conference play. The Eastern Michigan Eagles, 13 and 18 overall, 6 and 12 in conference play. The Northern Illinois Huskies, 11 and 20 overall, 5 and 13 in conference play. And the Buffalo Bulls, 4 and 27 overall, 2 and 16 in conference play. So it all begins tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Eastern. From Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, 8 seed Kent State, 1 seed Toledo. Um, Kent State, um, they have a big three. The best guy of the bunch is Jalen Solinger. Um, Toledo rose from the top, or rose to the top. They have four really good players, led by Raheem Moss. Averaging almost 16 a game. I have Toledo 4.4 over Kent State. Total 152 and two fifths. So um, I'm going to advance Toledo. Second to four quarterfinal games. Five seed Bowling Green. Four seed Central Michigan. Um, Bowling Green has one of the best players in the conference in Marcus Hill. Averaging a 20 and five and two and a half assists. So... That is really good. Um, Central Michigan had a good run in conference play. Very well-balanced team led by Anthony Pritchard. But my projection here is Bowling Green by one, a quarter, total 141. So I'm going to advance Bowling Green. The third of four quarterfinal games, 17 Miami of Ohio and two seed Akron. Um, Miami of Ohio, um, they're kind of meh. Anderson Mermbo is their center, and Dreshi Hunter, their two best players, um, leading the way. And then um, on the other side with Akron, who was the best team in the conference for most of the year, um, they have a double double machine in Enrique Freeman. Uh, my projection here is Akron six point nine total one thirty nine and nine tenths. So I'm going to. Advance um, Akron. And the last of four quarterfinal games, six seed Western Michigan, three seed Ohio. Western Michigan, pleasant surprise in this conference this year. Um, Seth Hubbard um, leads the way for them. And then um, Ohio. Um, they have a couple of good players led by Jalen Hunter, averaging almost 14 a game. Um, projection, Ohio, 9.5, total 146 and 7 tenths. So I'm going to advance Ohio. All right, semifinals, I don't have chalk. But in theory, it will be chalk if Bowling Green's favored over Central Michigan tomorrow. But um, from a seeding standpoint, it's not chalk. Um, five seed Bowling Green, one seed Toledo. Um, Hill could potentially win this game for Bowling Green. Um, 
And Moss is a really good player, too, um, as is Dante Maddox Jr. Um, my projection here is Toledo 3.6, so I'm advancing Toledo to the championship in the second of two semifinal games on Friday, March 15th, three-seed Ohio and two-seed Akron. So those two teams finished with the same conference record this year. Um, the best guy on the court is Freeman, and he's on the better team, too, in Akron. He's a really good all-around player. Um, my line's Akron, only 1.4, though. So I'm going to advance Akron. And the MAC Championship on Saturday, March 16th, that will be 7.30 Eastern on ESPN2. Two-seed Akron, one-seed Toledo. So your top two seeds, probably the best two in the conference. Um, should be a really fun game. Um, as fun as Toledo is and how much they've earned that seed and the depth they have with Moss and Maddox and Cochran and Simmons, the best guy in the court belongs to Akron, and that is um, Enrique Freeman. They also have Ali Ali, really fun name, and... Greg Tribble. Um, my projection is Akron one and a half, so therefore I have the Akron Zips winning the 2024 MAC tournament, getting themselves an auto bid into the NCAA tournament. Guess their seed 14. They have 14 seed written all over it. Maybe 13 if they're lucky, but um, I'm gonna go on a limb and say 14. Um, I think that the loser of Toledo Akron, assuming that's the title game, goes to the NIT. So I think Toledo goes to the NIT. And we have a couple CBI candidates in here in Ohio and Central Michigan. Um, and um, that's really about it. I think Freeman will be the uh, most outstanding player of this tournament. Um, who has value in this tournament? Um... Which is a really fun question. Um, I want to guess Akron as the favorite, right? Yes, two to one. Um, Ohio's plus two twenty. Toledo's plus three fifty. Kent State just went to seven fifty, which is weird. Bowling Green nineteen to one. Central twenty three to one. Miami of Ohio twenty three to one. Western's fifty to one. I'll tell you who has value in this tournament. And that is Bowling Green with Hill, 19-1. to I thought Bowling Green was going to be more like 10-1. to That is a great number on Bowling Green. Um, I would put Akron potentially in a parlay with some of these other schools, depending on what number you get. But even Akron at 2-1 to I think is really good. Um, I love Bowling Green at 19 I'm surprised Toledo's 350. I thought they'd be more like 250. And Ohio has better or shorter odds than Toledo. Makes sense of that. And I don't know why the 8 seed Kent State is plus 750. I don't understand that for the life of me for some reason. I guess um, because they underachieved in the regular season. I know I have a good number on Kent State compared to others, but projecting out the tournament... I don't think they're going to win a game. They're the eight seed for a reason in this tournament. I don't know why they have the fourth shortest odds. All right, some coaching stuff. Um, I really think the two guys that stand out are Todd Kolizic, who's been at Toledo for 14 years now. Maybe he sticks around. And John Gross of Akron, who I think is most likely to jump. He's in year seven, and I think he's earned a better gig wherever he may land. Um, Jeff Bowles has done a really good job at Ohio. Tony Barbie, year three at Central Michigan, excellent job. Oh, and another um, CBI candidate I forgot to bring up was Bowling Green. They're absolutely in the mix for that. Todd Simon, excellent year one. To me, the coach of the year in the conference, though, um, Dwayne Stevens, Going 9-9 nine nine in the MAC, not bad. He did a really good job this year. Hot seat. Um, Rashawn Burno of Northern Illinois. Um, 
they've been bad all three years he's been there. To me, he's the hot seat guy. Um, Stan Heath, I think, will survive. George Halkovic, the third, um, that's a rebuild there. He's probably not going anywhere. Rob Senderoff has been at Kent State for 13 years. I don't think he's going anywhere. Michael Lewis of Ball State's not going anywhere. So there's some interesting coaches in this league for sure. Then you have uh, Travis Steele at Miami of Ohio, and he's a big name. He's not going anywhere anytime soon either. So I'd say out of seat is probably Northern Illinois coach for Sean Burno. So there you have it for the MAC, the Mid American Conference MAC. Next up is the final one, the Ivy League. <laughs>